will be revealed on the other side. In the afterlife. If you still do not know about the show Lucifer, maybe get out from under your rock, because you are missing an immensely entertaining series and beautiful love story. Lucifer keeps intriguing us as he is played by heartthrob Tom Ellis. Yes, mention Ellis' name and you have the attention of all the women and some men in the room. The show keeps us coming back for more of Lucifer's antics and for the love developing between him and Detective Chloe Decker, Lauren German. With season 5 be done, we wanted you to know more about the secrets in the show. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. What is Lucifer about? The series focuses on Lucifer Morningstar, Tom Ellis, a handsome and powerful angel who is cast out of heaven for his rebellion. As the devil, Lucifer tires of the millennia he spent being the lord of hell, punishing people, becoming increasingly bored and unhappy with his life in hell. He abdicates his throne in defiance of his father, God, and abandons his kingdom for Los Angeles, where he runs his own nightclub called Lux. When he finds himself involved in a murder investigation, he meets the intriguing detective Chloe Depp. Decker, Lauren German. After helping the LAPD solve a case by using his power to manipulate humans into revealing their deepest desires, he accepts a subsequent invitation to become a consultant to the department. Throughout the series, he learns he's changing into something who is diametrically different from the devil he is. But with his stubbornness and selfishness, he ends up getting Detective Decker confused about his true being. As the events unfold, several celestial and demonic threats come to Los Angeles. At the same time, Lucifer and Chloe ultimately allow their love for each other to bring them through the darkness. Only half of Lucifer season 5 has been released. When Netflix confirmed the season would have 16 episodes, it was something many suspected. After all, 16 episodes is a lot for the streaming service to release at once. 8 allows for easy binge watching, which seems to be the way Netflix wants viewers to watch shows. We got 8 episodes on August 21st, 2020, and we will get another 8 at a later date that's still to be determined. That will be season 5B. What happened in season 5A? The Lord giveth and the devil taketh away. With only 8 episodes dropping on Netflix August 21st, the Lucifer season 5A finale came all too soon. Yet with even less content than a typical season, the first part of the fifth installment in this devilish franchise managed to deliver a few intriguing plot twists that promised to carry on into the second half of the season and lead to some massive changes for Lucifer and company from here on out. Lucifer, Tom Ellis, may have quite literally gone to hell and back at the start of the story, but by season's end he's shown coming face to face with something much more terrifying. Dear old dad, yes, God himself has finally made an appearance on the show Lucifer in the form of Dennis Haysbert known for the popular series 24. In the final moments of the finale, Lucifer and Amandil, D.B. Woodside, were locked in an epic battle against, alongside Michael, also Ellis, and Maze, Leslie, and Brant, with no end in sight, which is most likely what prompted God to intervene in the first place. What happened in Season 5B? Early on in the second batch of episodes, God attempts to bring the family together in fairly conventional ways, including family dinner, but can't quite bridge the gap. It sends Lucifer on a bit of an emotional journey, one that culminates him in coming to understand his father right around the time that God decides to retire leaving his children to decide among themselves who should take his place. The decision comes down to Lucifer and Michael, and Lucifer and Chloe prepare to leave Los Angeles for Lucifer to potentially take on the role of God. Though Michael is still scheming to be the victor, it's against this backdrop that the usual suspects, Lucifer, Chloe, Dan, Kevin Alejandro, and Ella, Amy Garcia, have another homicide to solve. As the investigation deepens, Dan follows a lead to a house and ends up being kidnapped. The kidnappers, who are part of a ruthless mercenary group, beat and torture Dan for information about someone who is fencing stolen goods who happens to be exhibiting superhuman strength. Superhuman strength, Dan doesn't have answers for them, and while Dan nearly escapes, he's shot in the back. Dan manages to survive long enough to be found and give Chloe a clue before he ultimately dies. Dan's clue ends up being significant, as it leads them to Amandil's necklace and unravels a larger story. Michael is assembling the flaming sword and needs the necklace which someone involved with the case had. It's also later revealed that Michael orchestrated Dan's murder to create leverage to force Lucifer back into hell, so he, Michael, can be God. Michael's machinations aside, Dan's death is a huge emotional loss to everyone in Lucifer's inner circle. Everyone, including Lucifer, is shaken to their core at the loss of their friend, particularly as they reflect on just how much he impacted their lives. It changes everything for the group, but particularly for Lucifer. He declares that he is going to war against Michael. Ending explained. While Dan's death is a huge shock, it's worth remembering that season 5 of Lucifer was originally intended to be the series' last, for it was renewed for 6th season. The renewal did not change any plans for the season, so large changes, including this stunning death, are part of what the series co-showrunner Joe Henderson called a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. One of the big things that we said when we agreed to season 6 is that we did not want to change season 5 because we loved season 5. Henderson previously said in an interview with Collider, when the back half gets released from season 5, when season 5B gets released, I think people will see how much the whole season fits together. Like, I think, a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. I love it. We didn't want to change the ending, but what we did is we just ended season 5. We basically 
lopped off the X6 that Ildi was in the middle of writing. And these doors that we were sort of speeding through anyways, we realized in retrospect, were sort of moving really fast on some things and summarizing moments that could actually be stories. That means everything's on course for a stunning season 6 which has to fit the story of season 5 now. Dan's death. Lucifer fans were shocked when the second half of season 5 saw Kevin Aliandro's fan favorite character, Detective Dan Espinoso killed off in brutal fashion by a gang boss. There was salt in the wound when it was later revealed that Dan had gone to hell, presumably for feeling guilty about a misdeed from his mortal life, which seems like an unfair end for such a nice character. We're betting that Dan will find his way to heaven at some point during season 6, with Lucifer star Kevin Aleandro confirming that the character will appear in the final episodes, maybe with some help from Lucifer himself. How will Amandil fare on the police force? In a surprise twist, Lucifer's brother Amandil has expressed his intention to join the police force, which looks set to be a major storyline in the final season. Dan initially had some doubts about the idea before supporting his friend's application to the LAPD, but it remains to be seen whether they will get along well in the job if Dan returns. What we do know is that he will strike up a special relationship with a fellow cop, to be played by alias star Marin Dungey, while the next episodes will also touch upon some pressing real-world themes. D.B. Woodside told TV Line, we're going to dive back into, especially given everything that's happened this past year while we're on lockdown, with George Floyd and Black Lives Matter, a bit about the police and issues that happen within the police department, and how good cops are trying to take on bad cops. What does the future hold for Maze and Eve? Lucifer fans were thrilled to see that Demon Mackenzie and her beloved Eve are back together in Season 5 Part 2. They first met in Season 4 and quickly formed a close bond, with Maze developing romantic feelings for Eve that were sadly not reciprocated at first. Eve went traveling to find herself and figure out what she wants from her life on Earth, concluding that she has never felt more content than when she was with Maze. It looks as if the couple will stay together for the foreseeable future, but we're keen to find out what the future looks like for them. Will they get up to more bounty hunting action, or will Maze's anxiety over Eve's mortality get in the way? Will Lucifer and Chloe get their happy ending? Above all else, this is the question that fans will want to see definitively answered in the final season of Lucifer. Over several years, we've been following the whirlwind romance between Lucifer, Morningstar, and Chloe Decker, which has seen setback after setback from emotional baggage to celestial drama. They had their toughest moment yet in the season 5 finale, when Chloe was killed by Michael and Lucifer stormed up to heaven to bring her back to life. Looking ahead, Lucifer's new job as God could prove to be another test for the couple to overcome, as his father struggled to juggle his endless responsibilities with maintaining personal relationships. No doubt season 6 will see more emotionally charged conversations between the two, but surely things will work out in the end, right? Season 6 of Lucifer promises to be entertaining, leaving us with the death of Dan before the half season ended. This makes for a scenario when season 6 starts that is interesting. There are so many options into which direction the story may flow from this point. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Be so kind as to join us for our next one, and feel free to leave comments. What did you think about Season 5B? Until we meet again, stay safe!